Greetings and salivations, everyone! I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad's Baby Yoda Territory, home of the child Grogu and the Mandalorian merchandise, news, reviews, DIYs, and more. Today, guys, I've got some really cute items to review for you. So if you love Grogu and the Mandalorian as much as we do, and you don't want to miss seeing our reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. I hope everyone is doing totally rad today. Guys, today I've got a couple little reviews for you. First, I have a little tiny mini plush set, and I'm going to show that one to you, review it, and compare it to the Itty Bitties from Hallmark, because they are kind of similar. And I have the remote-controlled child in the pram. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at that. I am going to take it out of the box, and we're going to see how well it works. So, yep, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's jump right into those reviews. The first item I have to review today is a little mini plush set by Mattel. And, guys, here it is. Look how little tiny and adorbs they are. They are super adorable. Mando's a little cutie there, his little details. He's got his little cape. And then the child, well, yeah, I'm sorry guys, but he's cute, but the child is just a little bit off. You know how I had that backpack I called Franken Baby? Yeah, I think this is his little child here. Yeah, there's something very Frankenstein's monsterish about this, guys. What do you think? I think it's the square head. And maybe, yeah, the face. It's just not right. Mattel, I know you tried, and all of your stuff is really usually super cute, but yeah, this guy, something is just off about him. But I did want to compare these guys to the Hallmark Itty Bitties, just so you can kind of get a little bit of difference between this little Itty Bitty plush and the official Hallmark Itty Bitty plush. I'm going to start with Mando. Now the details on both of them... This is little embroidered details. I like his cute little hands. Those are adorable. And the little square helmet. The Itty Bitties have the round head, which is pretty much standard for all of the little Itty Bitty Hallmark items. And there's actually looks to be, although these are embroidered, the details on this one look to be a little bit better. And a big difference in the details when you look at the back. The Hallmark one actually has the details all the way around, including underneath his little teeny tiny cape. The back of the Hallmark one is just plain. It's a plain gray plush. Yeah, it does have his cape. And then you lift that up and it's just plain brown on the background. So yeah, it's cute, but detail-wise, guys, I think Hallmark wins. But I think I like the head on this one better. I like the square head on this one and the details on this one. Now, comparing the child, again, we've got that round Hallmark itty bitty head, and we've got the square Frankenstein's monster head on the Mattel one. Cuteness factor, this one's a little bit more like the little cartoony one. This guy, he's just, he looks unhappy. He needs love. I am. I'm going to keep him and give him lots of love, guys, so don't worry about that. The Sherpa on the itty bitty goes all the way around the back. On the Hallmark one, it's just there on the front, guys. Again, just a plain. These are like little mini, teeny, tiny, like Barbie-sized pillow plushes. <laughs> but again, I still think he's cute in his very own way. I just think they kind of missed the mark a little bit on this guy here. So yeah, overall... They're okay. They're not a totally rad, but they are a rad. I still think they're pretty stinking adorable cute. And yeah, I'm glad that I got them. And I will adore them and cherish them forever. I just gotta come up with something fun to do with these two little guys. Maybe make, like, pins out of them? They're too big for hair things. Ooh, guys, I got it. Little pair of Mickey ears with these guys on them. What do you think? I might be on to something there. But if I do come up with a cute little DIY to do with these guys, of course there will be a video on it. So stay tuned for that. It may happen, it may not. But yeah, guys, ears? Vote in the comments. Yes or no? Mickey ears or not? Let me know. Now the RC child in the pram, guys. That's the one I'm really, really excited about. Look at this thing. 
How super adorable is it? The details on it are awesome as well. This was also available at Five Below over the holidays. Guys, it was a gift, so I don't know how much this actually cost at Five Below. I know most things at Five Below are Five Below, but they have started adding things that are a little bit higher priced. So guys, help me out. If this was $5 at Five Below, please let me know in the comments. As I mentioned, this is a remote control the child in the pram. Yes, he's got a little remote and he's supposed to go forward and backward, so I guess he doesn't spin or anything, but all right, guys, let's get him out of here and let's go see how he works. All right, guys, I've got the batteries all in him. I needed to add that he takes five triple A batteries, three for the pod and three for the remote. Now on the remote, it has the little up and the little down. The up makes him go forward and the down makes him go backwards. So guys, you ready? Let's try him out here. I didn't even hit the remote that time. He did it on his own. Lily, what is that? guys yeah he is super cute he's got the little remote that has the forward and backward and as you saw he doesn't quite go straight forward and straight backward he's got this little wheel in the front that kind of makes him do circles and turn and all kinds of things he really has little control other than a little bit of movement on him but I'm gonna play with him more of course, I tried him out here on our living room floor, which isn't kind of a smooth surface. So yeah, I'm going to play with him more on a smooth surface, hopefully sometime later this week. And guys, I'll try to film that and put it up as one of our shorts so you can see how he moves on a smoother surface. Also, I wanted to mention, he does not work on carpet. While he was out there in the living room, I lost control and he came zooming here into the office. And guys, he like completely dead stopped. I mean, the wheels weren't even spinning. He just boom, stopped. So this, if you have a lot of carpet in your house, he is not going to work on carpet. And if he does, he's not going to work really well. He also does not come with batteries, guys, so you do need a total of five AAA batteries, two for the remote and three for the little pod guy here. Quality-wise, guys, yeah, he's a little tough. He's got a little rubbery head, little rubbery hands, so they're kind of like a bumper. The rest of the pod is a little harder plastic, but you saw him take that little spill off of the step down into our living room, and yeah. He pretty much survived that. I don't think he would survive a very high crash. He'd probably crack, but yeah, he's built a little tough. And guys, five below, if he was $5, again, let me know in the comments if you know he was five or if he was more. I mean, even if he was 10, yeah, totally worth it to me, guys, because I think he's hysterical and awesome. So yeah, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, guys, yeah, I'm rating this one a totally rad. He is super duper cute and fun, and yeah, I can't wait to play with this more. Uh, I have an idea. How about this guy and my little twinsies, the two Real Moves plush, and I've got a couple other things coming up that I'm going to be reviewing soon, and we can have like a little Grogu and Friends dance party. <laughs> what do you guys think?
Yeah? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> But anyways, in the meantime, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child and The Mandalorian reviews in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, little dude? We'll see you later.